Alright, what's up everybody? This is Champion here, and this is the Halloween event. This is Monday. I mean, I'm sorry I didn't make this video earlier. I was too busy running for Clan TS and Individual TS last week. But we're here now. I'm going to show you this Slenderman. It's one up, so this is a perfect time to make this video. I'll uh, tell you a little bit about it. It's basically the same thing. It's just Slenderman all over again. Nothing new. I mean, I was pretty disappointed with the Halloween event, personally. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people were... Uh, I'll open up trick or treats and you, you guys will see what's in those as well. And here's Slendy now. And I'll teach you guys how to fight him. Basically, you want to look behind you. You don't really want to focus too much on this Slendy. Because the thing, <coughs> the thing is, well, I have a raid cannon, so I can't really uh, say much for the majority of the players that don't have raid cannons. But for me personally, I just back up. I don't really pay attention to Slendy, like I said. So I just pretty much watch the aggro behind me make sure I don't get caught but as I was saying I was pre <coughs> pretty disappointed with the Halloween event and I feel like it could have been better I mean the prices could have been better well not the prices what you get out of the uh I almost got caught there what you get out of the uh, trick-or-treats could have been better but I mean it is what it is I mean you just got we just gotta be thankful that Neil's gonna have a lot of updates in the future so I mean hopefully he focuses on that I mean I wish the we could have had trick or treats up here I mean I know they're at four passer but it would have been cool if they were at the bunker as well where is it oh the thing about Slenny is he blends with the aggro so much so it's like oh crap where'd he go where'd he go so just back you know I mean it's pretty easy to kill with the rage cannon compared to the GAU I say this would be a good video for uh those that want to see what the Wraith Cannon is really capable of, so you probably won't see much because I'm mainly shooting the aggro rather than Slendy. I'm pretty careful with this. So, I mean, I didn't want to make the video at first, but I decided to make it because, well, it's the Wraith Cannon that I'm using, and just because it's 2016, my last Slenderman video was a long time ago, and I don't even know. Um, how far it went down as in date wise. I mean a lot of people probably don't even know that I had a Slenderman video of me fighting them So I figured to make one up to date for you guys and just to show you how to fight them give you tips and tricks <coughs> tips and tricks for next year Kind of losing them a bit You mainly want to get ahead of the aggro. It's what I do for all bosses. I mean, I'm pretty sure I taught you guys that in my previous videos I mean, one up is sort of a good spot for me personally because I've been, we've all been one up before a lot of times, so we know the obstacles here, and I kind of like study the obstacles, like the cars and stuff, and learn like easier ways to get by everything and uh, dodge the aggro and whatnot. Back up here, but. I mean, it should be twitching. I mean, the long shot really works well for this. So if I ever get, <coughs> if I ever get ahead of the aggro, I'd be sure to fire out my long shot a little bit. Maybe he's twitching. No, he's not. I guess I'll shoot a couple shots now with it. I think you see it's already twitching with the long shot. So the long shot is Dominic and Slenderman. Just gotta watch out when the aggro comes behind me. Yeah, I'm really hitting it pretty good. And you need to get one trick or treat out of this, so it's mainly one Slenderman per hour, so it kind of stinks. Because you don't really get that many trick or treats, especially for those that don't have the time to play hours and hours at different tier. Yeah, I'm getting no aggro, so I'm pretty much whooping this Slenderman right now. And there we go. Loot my body for you guys. Got aggro, go figure. It's invisible. I'll take some hits for the fans. And I got it. So there's a trick or treat. As you can see, it's invisible. I don't know what Neil did with the system, but you can't see the trick or treat when you click yes to it or no to it. And I mean, you'll see in your inventory, all you gotta do is drag it on you. You should get an implant. I guess I'll tell you guys what the rewards are. It's basically the same thing, but you can get an implant that's non transferable. It consists of plus one ammo and plus one cash looted. And you can just drag this in your implant section. And the chances of you getting that out of the trick or treat is like a 10% chance. And you can also get the EXP 30% boost 
well 50% boost actually for one hour they don't stack up so it basically just extends the you know the time of how long you have an EXP boost for so it's basically good for those that don't have ultra boost and that's pretty much all I have for you guys um probably make my next video which is me opening up the trick or treat so I'm pretty much making three videos today for you guys and I'll probably head back to the outpost probably not even going to grind this aggro because I already did enough grinding last week I really don't feel like doing it again for a little bit so I'll make a video to trick or treat stay tuned everybody and thanks for watching